Hello Chipmunk and Chipette fans, and welcome to another Alvin and the Chipmunks elaboration video. My name is Grandy Tamias, and today's subject will be, what are the possibilities of us getting a fifth installment in the live action Alvin and the Chipmunks film series by 20th Century Fox? Now, I have heard this question tossed around the fandom a whole lot after the release of The Road Chip, and it hasn't seemed to show much sign of stopping, at least not yet. Right off the bat, I would like to say that I don't have anything against the fans who do want to see a fifth installment, but at the same time, I feel like I need to step up and end a lot of rumors. To give you all the short answer, I personally believe that we are not going to get a fifth live action film. And while I have a lot of evidence to back up my claim, that doesn't necessarily mean that it isn't going to happen. For all we know, it could be possible, I just couldn't find any evidence for it. With so many franchises these days constantly making new installments or reiterations that are based on something pre-existing in pop culture, it's the expected norm that there is no end in sight for a film series as long as it is successful. But this is a rather flawed way of thinking about it in relation to Alvin and the Chipmunks because it's not the type of film series with infinite potential. And while it may have been a success financially speaking, it's not trying to be the biggest thing. Assuming we were to get a fifth Alvin and the Chipmunks film, would fans really want to stop there? They would be clamoring for a sixth one or beyond. You have to remember, these films are targeted at a very young audience who may not always want to stick with this franchise and since grow out of it. And not to say that I don't think the films should have lasted the eight years that they did, but most of the kids who saw the 2007 film were most likely mid to upper teens by the time of The Road Chip and might not have been as likely to see it. In fact, most of the child's audience was probably comprised of newcomers to the film series. Time and age aren't just a factor for the audience, it's also a factor for the characters. Realistically, in their universe, they have to grow up sometime too, and like I said, there's only so much time they can be kids before they move on to older things. Now, sure, the road ship and the CGI series have the Chipmunk characters acting very teenager-like, but for the content of the shows and movies, it still targets a very young demographic who relatively aren't going to last that long, and there's always new kids coming in. And even if there are a few kids who will become longtime followers, such as myself and most of you watching this video, we're still massively outnumbered. But back to the characters, it wouldn't make sense to continue following the Chibungs and Chibets even into their adult lives, because it would just break up the tone that sets this franchise apart from so many others. Even the actor who played Miles during Road Chip was in his 20s during filming, and he partly passed off as a teenager if I'm being completely honest. He probably would have moved on to college by the time of a fifth movie. Moving on, you also have to consider the money involved in not only the production of a fifth Alvin and the Chipmunks film, but also the box office revenue. The film series peaked with the squeakquel at over $400 million, and fell harder and harder with the Chipwreck and Road Chip films. Not to mention that each film progressively got more and more expensive to make. Road Chip had a budget of $90 million and earned about $280 million. What I'm saying is that if this trend continues, Fox wouldn't see any point in making a fifth one if they aren't going to make as much money off of it. As we all know, money talks. The final nail in the coffin, though, would be Disney's acquisition of Fox, which was finalized earlier this year, and the deal included the legal rights to the Alvin and the Chipmunks live-action films. Now, I have heard the argument that Disney could just use those rights to make new Alvin and the Chipmunks films in the form of a reboot, sequel, whatever it may be, but I think this could not be further from the truth. Bactasarian would have to cooperate with Disney for that to happen, and I doubt they would want to. I'll explain in future videos more about how Bactasarian Productions does business, but all you need to know is that the bigger the company, the less of a chance Bactasarian would want to work with them. They learned this the hard way when they had to file a lawsuit against Universal Studios in the early 2000s to re-secure full control over the characters, and ever since, they've been very cautious about the creative and distribution rights to the Alvin and the Chipmunks franchise. 
They even filed a lawsuit against Fox around the time of the squeakquel over how much revenue they would be sharing, and the court unfortunately ruled in Fox's favor. Disney, though, would be much harder to fight off in court, since it's basically the undisputed king of movie studios in Hollywood these days, and continues to grow with each new acquisition. Without Bagdasarian to work with, the rights to the live-action Alvin and the Chipmunks films, which Disney owns, are going to expire eventually without anything being made from them for a potential renewal. At least I think that's how it works. So yeah, Disney bought something that they're ultimately never going to use. In a sense, it was a waste of money to get, but they had to get it as part of the acquisition. It just came with a deal. And think about it. Would a family owned and operated company like Bagdasarian Productions, being so protective of their creations, want to collaborate with a company that is known for buying out other properties? I don't think so. So in conclusion, I would say that any way you slice it, the live action film series are over after Roadship, and there is no way on earth that it can be continued. I apologize for disappointing anyone, I'm just stating the facts. I hope that this puts an end to all the controversy. Anyway, feel free to leave a comment about your thoughts towards all of this, or suggest topics for future elaborations. Don't forget that you're also welcome to like and subscribe, and with that said, I hope that you enjoyed this video and thank you for your time in watching it.